All right, class. Well, you had a chance to uh, explore a little bit of the relationship between George and Martha. One thing that I added uh, in there as well uh, is also a, a title. Uh, I tried to add a link, but it didn't didn't like the Amazon link. But the book is called the uh, The Washingtons. Uh, it's by Flora Fraser, uh, a British scholar who recently won the George Washington Book Prize for her work. Um, and so the book does a great job of exploring the relationship between um, between George and Martha. So that's that's a great one to check out uh, that I put up there for uh, anybody who might be interested. Okay, all right. So uh, at this point, Washington uh, moves to Mount Vernon, uh, and that's where we sort of are going to find ourselves. Now, this is going to be uh, quite an interactive experience. Uh, what I want you guys to do is to really spend uh, a solid amount of time exploring the interactive tour on the uh, Mount Vernon website. I, I have a link to it. Uh, I'm also gonna show it to you here and kind of give you an idea. Uh, I mean, uh, there's a ton of, of information and things provided here. I would say you could easily spend, I, I, in class, if we were in class, about 30 minutes worth of time um, taking a look at this. So um, really take your time and explore. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen with you. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, we're going to take a tour of Mount Vernon here. And what we have here is uh, sort of a, a water, a watercolor of the entire overview of the property from the air. We have, of course, here, the Potomac river, right? Um, and it's interesting to note that uh, Mount Vernon is just one of a series of farms in the area that Washington uh, had and um, maintained uh, in addition to uh, just this one here, right? So as we're trying to orient ourselves, right, this obviously would have been the main residence here. Um, in Washington's time, you would have uh, entered through a gate. Uh, I think it's upwards of like three quarters of a mile away. and. Uh, you would have made your way up the path and uh, come up and either gone uh, through either one of the pathways here to the front of the house, right? Um, these are the series of outbuildings that we'll see here where a lot of the trades were conducted um, in and around the uh, main residence. Uh, there's a series of homes here, little huts, if you will. This is where uh, slave quarters. Uh, where uh, uh, some slaves were held. Usually the slaves that were working in the house were, were here. The field slaves would have been um, uh, kept closer to where the fields were that they were working, right? And then you had two, uh, you had a series of gardens. Um, this would have been the gardens of fruits and vegetables that would have been used in the kitchen. Over here would have been more uh, traditional English ornamental gardens, right? Um, more designed to show opulence and wealth, okay? And down here on the lower farm, and what you're not getting an appreciation here is the change of elevation. Uh, there's a pretty steep hill that takes you down to this lower farm here. Uh, this is where a lot of the livestock was kept. Um, and this is where a lot of uh, other farming was done. Um, there was this octagonal building that was created. Uh, Washington was d definitely into being innovated as a farmer. And so the one thing that he did is he realized that the best way to sort of thresh wheat was to lay it out on a floor and have horses walk over it. And there were slats in the floor so that the, the seeds would sort of drop through. Um, and so that's down this part of the area as well down here. Um, and then as we make our way through, uh, this is obviously all part of the, uh, of the tourist attraction, if you will. This is the visitor center, the museum store. There's a great restaurant here called the Inn at Mount Vernon, a pretty fancy restaurant. Uh, they also have a food court in here as well. Uh, this would have been, um, uh, I believe, the uh, museum, and back here, the administrative office. The, 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 the library is over here on this side over here. That would have been there as well. All right, so with all of that being said, let's explore this. So what you're gonna do is, I, I'm gonna give you the link, um, but I also have a link embedded in here. So let me go ahead and do that. So uh, the link will take you to the uh, Mount Vernon website where you'll have this, um, this interactive tour. Now, let me just kind of give you an orientation here, right? So um, a lot of times, so this is, this is looking at the main residence, right? Um, the Potomac River in the background, okay? 
Um, so just by way of orientation, there's if you click on that button there, it'll play a welcome video for you. Whenever you see a circle with a dot in it, that usually gives you um, some information that you can get on the house here. We're seeing the development of the mansion and the expansion of that as well, right? So that is all included in there as well. So really, uh, you know, take some time uh, of, of kind of just really going through and, and reading and exploring and uh, taking this all in. Um, and because we're not together, the best way to do this is asynchronously. So just having you kind of go through. Whenever you want to move to a different area of the house, so every time you see these um, triangles, that's gonna play a different video. Uh, these circles are just gonna be giving you more information. Uh, and then the arrows will move you into the residence, okay? Uh, and we'll take you into the different rooms. So now we've moved through the door. This is the new room. This is where Washington would have entertained and you can do a lot in here as well, right? Um, so what I would love for you to do is to really just kind of, um, spend some time now, uh, exploring Mount Vernon. And again, there's no need to rush through this, right? So if we were together in class, this would have, this would take about a half hour of our time. So I want you to spend that amount of time. And again, the idea here is that, uh, between the links that I give and, and, and talking to you, I'm trying to replicate the amount of time that we would spend in class together on this too. So. Go ahead and, uh, and enjoy your tour of Mount Vernon, and we'll catch up next and spend a little bit of time talking about uh, slavery at Mount Vernon. All right, have fun, guys.